In this video, I'll show you how to conduct mediation analysis with process. Go to the menu bar of SPSS, analyze, then regression, then process. We are not installed process by end device, so install it before running the analysis. So you find this dialog box. In this dialog box, you see the upper cell, this one. This is meant for putting outcome variable, mean the dependent variables. So the Y dependent variable in this case is EP implied performance. Let me bring it here. Then independent variable, independent variable is uh, in my case, it is emotional intelligence. So let me bring emotional intelligence. So emotional intelligence is here. So then job satisfaction, job satisfaction is mediated in my case. So I am going to examine whether job satisfaction mediates between emotional intelligence and employee performance. So coming to the options, in options I am going to check the first option of the confidence intervals and then effect size, then sober test, then total effect size. And then coming to the model number, model number uh, I'm going to pick four since four is meant for mediation. One is for moderation. Full step samples, I'm going to pick 5,000 and uh, uh, then confidence intervals at 95%. Just click it okay. So it's processing, uh, yeah. So here are the results. So you see here, so the model is uh, four, number four. Dependent variable is implied performance. Independent variable is emotional intelligence and mediated is job satisfaction. And if you go down, so in the first table you see here, uh, outcome variable is job satisfaction, uh, whereas uh, predictor is emotional intelligence. So the, here we are going to examine the effect of independent variable on the mediator. So the model fitness is established as uh, uh, you see here p-value is less than 0 0.05. Emotional intelligence has a positive effect and is a significant effect also as p-value is less than 0 0.05. Another way of looking at significant is the t Value so the t value if it is greater than 1.96, so that means it is significant predictor. Another way of looking at is the uh, range of the lower limit and the upper limit of confidence interval. If zero falls in between the two extremes, so that means that is non significant, and if uh, the, uh, zero does not fall between the two extremes, so that means that is statistically significant. So since both values here are positive, so we say so it is statistically significant as zero does not fall between the two values. Coming to the next table here, you see here uh, outcome variable is implied performance means uh, dependent variable. Moral fitness is established as p value is less than 0 0.05. And uh, as far as predictor are concerned here, you see so the both independent variable as well as the uh, mediator. So the both have been included here. And uh, the both are positive predictors and significant also as p value in both cases is less than 0 0.05. And coming to the third model, here you see uh, in third model also dependent variable is uh, uh, the implied performance and then model fitness is there as p value is less than 0 0.05. However, here in this case, we have included only single variable that is the independent variable. In other words, we are going to examine now uh, the effect of independent variable on the dependent variable without inclusion of the mediator. So you see it is uh, also statistically significant. Right, however, the only one thing we uh, observe a change, it is uh, some variation in the coefficient size of the both, in both models, coefficients of the independent variable. 
so uh, full mediation is not there now coming to here so your total effect is statistically significant uh, direct effect is also statistically significant whereas the indirect effect of x on y means emotional intelligence direct effect indirect effect on the employee performance is statistically non significant reason uh, uh, you see here lower limit is minus and upper limit is positive so that means uh, so in both extremes so zero falls between the two extremes so that's why uh, job satisfaction is not having an indirect effect means there is no mediations so it's verified from the normal theory test also here you see so it is statistically non significant so that's how we conduct mediation analysis with process thanks for watching